vaccination be compulsory or not? But first, you need to know what's the basic concept of vaccination. Mainly, it's just you inject a dead microbe uh, to stimulate the antibodies of the body against it, thus preventing that disease later on from uh, occurring, okay? Now, um, it's basically used to stimulate it's basically used to stimulate the human immune system. It does not create a new immune system, it just stimulates you. This, this way, it pre prepares your body to ward off such diseases, okay? Now, in 1980, after a huge work by the World Health Organization, it, it was declared that finally, smallpox has been eradicated. Smallpox, by the way, killed 35% uh, of its victims and left everyone else from those who had smallpox either scarred or blind. Now, imagine if a disease like that was still circulating right now. Imagine if it was left without vaccination. How many of us in this room would have still been here had smallpox not been eradicated by the vaccines? Now, this vaccine, the smallpox vaccine, annually saves five million people who could have died because of not being vaccinated, had not been discovered, you know. Now, let me give you another small example, the whooping cough. The vaccine for the whooping cough reduced the number of deaths from 8,000 to only 50. That's based on a study in 1940 in the U.S. No, thank you. I will take all points of information. By the end of the now, can you tell me, I would like all of you now to imagine if you're walking down the street and saw someone with a certain disability, like those who had poliomyelitis and later on it, it led to paralysis. What would you think? Personally, I know I'm thinking that thank God it's not me or thank God it's not my child if I had one. But, and I'm pretty sure that most of you here would think the same way. Polio, by, by the way, is a disease that can only be prevented by vaccination. So the question here, why would I let my child or why would I let any person suffer from a disability because his or her parents were uneducated or made the wrong choice because they were scared of vaccination? Why would anyone do that? Polio also, by the way, disappeared from Egypt since 2006, thank God, because of vaccination that some might assume are not safe. Now, maybe these vaccines did not decrease the mortality rate in general, but they, they did decrease the number of deaths by these certain diseases, as previously mentioned. Also, lastly, it's completely within your choice if you do not want to be vaccinated. But put it in your consideration that by not vaccinating yourself, you're harming, you're harming others along with yourselves, and that is not freedom. Thank you.